Next, clear the west wing. I'll move through the east. It would be wise to stay the communicator from here on. Good point. Yeah. Let's rendezvous inside.
my gallant knight. It seems I came just in time. I suppose so. Though it would not be in my nature to let a god get the better of me. Did you come alone? They've been feeling out with me. They're taking care of the rest of the guards and you. I could not risk involving my squad, but there is one more with me. And you trust this person? Yes, with my life. Very well. What now? We will meet him inside and proceed to the archives room. Let's go. As you can see, we face some resistance. They're over here. Ronan, we found a way in. Once in place, we can use the stagecoach to climb the balcony. Knight, help us push this into place. I need you to stay. Rani, I need to be by your side. You always are, child. What of him and his accomplice? Heed my advice. Do you not know how dear you are to me? Then why do you push me away? Because I need you to continue the cause if something happened to me. Do not say that. Debbie, though you may not trust me, know that I will protect your queen in your stead. I owe her knew that much. See that you do. You do not want to get on the bad side of that one. Take 
cover! Let's get inside before more guards arrive. Over here. Look out! Shotgun specialist! Shit. 
One of them is one here! Damn it! Reloading! I'll give you cover! Guard down! Looks like that was the last of them. More could be here any minute. Let's keep moving. Let's go. My dearest Jacob, our mutual friend has thought it wise that I contact you prior to my arrival in England. Though our venture was tenuous at its inception, I am happy to report that operations are now proceeding as planned. The local governments proved easy enough to persuade, and I do not foresee any further problems from the authorities who have been handsomely compensated. And the fact remains that some isolated factions within the Commonwealth territories of India still battle our personnel. The most remain unsuccessful. Some have caused material damage to company property that may be hard to replace. We are optimistic that the situation will soon be under control. I do hope your local Indian problem is being handled properly as well. I look forward to seeing you upon my arrival. Knight, what are you waiting for? Can hold your fire. This is Lakshmi Bai, the leader of the rebellion. She is your confederate. Have you taken leave of your senses, man? I might ask the same question. If I didn't know you any better, I'd think you'd led me into a rebel ambush. As I might fear an arrest. We do not have time for this. We needed help, and she is the only one I could turn to. This is madness. You're putting the very core of our order in jeopardy. Alistair, you have to trust me. You asked that we find proof. She was with me in Blackwall. She witnessed what I found there. You mean to tell me that she helped you destroy the United India Company docks? My father was right. That was an act of pure terrorism. She used you. She brought this conspiracy to my attention. And if we're to see it through, her help is invaluable. And what if you're wrong? Then she and I will answer for our actions. And suffer the consequences, as Mallory did. I hope you're right, Gray. I would not want to see you on the wrong side of this mess. Neither would I, brother. There they are! Far end of the lobby! I'm 
pinned down! Give him covering fire! Muga, I'm in on the forest. Coach gun! Clear! Let's move. The archives room is this way. Through here, across the courtyard balcony. My dearest Jacob, our mutual friend has thought it wise. There reigned a king of name revered, to country and to town endeared. Great Dushrutha, good and sage, well read in scripture's holy page. Upon his kingdom we'll intend, mighty and brave and provident, the pride of old Ikshvaku's seed, for lofty thought and righteous deed. Pair of the saints for virtues famed, for force subdued and passions tamed, a rival in his wealth untold of Indra and the Lord of Gold. Like Manu, first of kings, he reigned and worthily his state maintained. For firm and just and ever true love, duty, gain he kept in view and ruled his city rich and free, like Indra's Amravati. And worthy of so fair a place, there dwelt a just and happy race. With troops of children blessed, each man contended sought no more, nor longed with envy for the store by richer friends possessed. For poverty was there, unknown.
more of them are coming from the bike thing. Oh, one of them has a thermite rifle. Right I'm under fire. Thermite. Bloody hell. Uh. The archives room is just ahead. Search the archives. Look for manifests, bills of lading, requisition orders. Anything that might link the company to the half-breed shipments.
time, if you ask me. This is the testament of Captain Emmerich Duncan Douglas, retired officer of the Royal Dragoon Guards, made on this 27th day of July, 1886. I swear to be sane of mind and body and declare the following under no duress. My dearest Emma, I hope you will find it in your heart to forgive me. I can no more be the husband you deserve. My service to the United India Corps is a decision I wish I could rescind. For the things I have seen and done will never cease to torment me. Though your beliefs would have me condemned to eternal hell for my actions, I now know that no such place exists. Nor does the heaven we all seek. God, if ever there was one, abandoned us long ago. To you, my wife, I bequeath my ancestral home in Surrey and all its belongings. To my only true friend, Sebastian, I leave the content of my coffer. Tell him he was right all along. He will find what he seeks inside. Hey, what are you doing here? Wait! No! Emma! Emma! Right, over here. You will want to see this. These are shipments that were sent to my homeland. If this log is to be believed, the company now has a foothold in every Indian state. Yeah, the Agamemnon shipment, destined for the eastern coast of the Americas. And three more shipments planned along the same route. RMS Oceanic is next. It set sail in six weeks. Where's Finley? Thank <laughs> you. 
these things. Do you believe me now? He is the one behind all this. The White Chapel killings. The half-breed scourge. United India. All you. Jacob Van Neck. Or as the Fleet Street pamphleteers have so fondly named me, Jack the Ripper. At your service. I thank you, Sir Lucan, for delivering these meddlers. Deal with them. And do not fail us. You. Quite fortuitous, wouldn't you say, Sir Galahad? The rebel leader captured, and a traitor revealed, all in one fell swoop. The traitor being you, regrettably. Alistair, how could you? Forgive me, brother. I have to look to my own kind above all. Your kind? Run! We have confirmation of multiple intruders at the United India House. The Metropolitan Police oh, has been it. ordered to remain oh. on standby. Oh, the protection and safety of Lord Hastings is our primary concern. Apprehend any suspects with extreme caution. <clears throat> Get 
Galahad, stay where you are. Wait, I can't I explain. said, don't move. You arrive in good time. We received a report of a disturbance. Yes, Sir Galahad stormed in here with a filthy band of rebels intent on killing me. It's a lie. Oh, see the result of that little incursion. Sir Galahad's accomplice was a woman. The leader of the rebellion, in fact. She eluded our grasp. Not for long. You will order the company guards to stand down, Lord Hastings. We knights will see to the capture of the rebel leader. Izzy, listen to me. You're making a grave mistake. Sir Percival, take this intruder into custody. I am truly sorry this office must fall upon you, Marquis. No more than I am, monsieur. Get him out of my sight. I thank you, Lady Igraine. Your intervention was truly fortuitous. We are only carrying out our sworn duty, Lord Hastings. They're all the same, my lady. You would do well to keep a close eye on that traitor. You may expect to be summoned before the courts. Your testimony will be required. I am always at the service of Her Majesty's Knights.